garden video update. It's a work in progress. guys, I am outside. I'm in the garden right now and look at those beautiful irises. Everybody's telling me how wonderful they are and they are. They really popped up this year. I don't know why, but this year they're awesome. I don't know if you can really tell how tall they are. Well, I mean there's a stop sign and they're pretty much higher than the stop sign. Love them. I am going to be taking some of these out though and handing them off to some friends. So Chip just came by and uh, he wants some. So I'll give him some once they're done and I can pull the bulbs. They're overtaking my garden and there's my rose bush. So I want that rose bush to, to bloom and look pretty and so I got to get rid of those. This here ha uh, area has been tilled up but I need to till it up again. Or I might just plant it. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty hard right now. The guys did a great job tilling, so I'm appreciative of that. Some more irises. This here is my um, asparagus. Well, let's see. There's two tall sprigs right there. I can't cut those. Those will be um, next year. I might be able to cut those. And then here's a tiny one here, too. There's a couple of small ones. Last night there was one. I don't know if you can see that stem right there. Rod picked that. So now we have a total of four, I think. <laughs> they grow real slow. But if we weren't uh, thinking about moving, I would plant more. And I would plant it in a different area, not with all my flowers. Because it's really hard not to till over them. But it takes about three years to really get good asparagus from it. And here's another tiny little one. I gotta get rid of all these weeds. The boys don't want to till in here because they're afraid to knock out the flowers. And I told them it's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> but look, my my rose has already has some some spots on it. That's not good. I gotta get rid of that. Those are bugs. I don't know what kind of bugs. I'll do a little bit of research and see how to kill them. I want them to be beautiful, and I will be get ri getting rid of those Japanese beetles this year if they come. Oh, they just... Here is this area of the garden. I have some tomatoes out. I have peppers. That's a pepper. That is a pepper, and I believe that's a pepper. Maybe these three are peppers. I can't remember. That's a tomato over there. And cucumber. I decided I wanted some cucumbers. They're Boston pickling. So let's see what I can do with that. I need to finish watering this. I didn't want to water everything until I was ready to be done in there. I don't want to step in mud. So anyway, I'll take you over here. I'm getting this kind of fixed up and this needs worked on. I might just take these out. I mean, they look so old. I need to fix them up. They're cracking. I might just throw them away. I'm not sure, but this is the project I'm working on right now. I took this here was full of just regular yard dirt. I took some of it out and I put it over here and I will show you. I know I'm walking around making a lot of movement. Um, this here is just regular yard dirt. So I took some of that out and put it, I took it out of here, put it in there and I'm gonna put this potting mix in here. And then I thought this was beautiful. Oops. It is uh, Super Bell's Lemon Slice. Doesn't that look pretty? I thought just a little splash of yellow. And then I'll have some of my marigolds around them. I think that'll look real pretty. It is a small pot. So I'm just going to mix this in. And I'm holding the camera so I know it's moving. Just mix the yard dirt in with the potting soil and that will be fine. 
And, it's, oh. and if you saw that, that is dill. I love my fresh herbs. So I hope that grows. This last year it did not grow. This here area, we worked it up last year. I'm gonna have Rudy or Jake till it up again, and I'm gonna replant irises over here. I think those will grow well, they'll look good, and um, they'll actually grow. Nothing else grew over here, and I don't know if it's just hard dirt, if it's, you know, what, anyway. So I have some buckets here, and I'm gonna get a couple others. I might get a long one for here, and then another small one for there. I don't know, I might switch these up, we'll see. And I'll tell you what those flowers are in a bit. I can't remember, but I do have the tag. I always save the tag. So that's what's going on in the garden today. I can't work in the front of the house. And here is my l shape area. Right here, I did have a plant. It ended up dying. I'm going to plant something else there. It died or we pulled it up. I can't remember. Um, I'm going to plant the irises there as well. Because once they are, um, once the, they're done blooming... See how pretty? Once they're done blooming, they'll have that green and they'll still look pretty, but they won't get in the way of the uh, tomatoes and peppers that I plant over here. This here area, I will have tomatoes and maybe peppers. I do already have, I have a red and a yellow sweet pepper. I also have the mini sweet peppers, multicolor. So I'm not sure what I'll do exactly over here. This here I still need to work up. There's nothing planted in there. And here I have uh, basil and this is cilantro, right? Uh, yeah, cilantro. So I just watered this and I need to water more. I am gonna put another, I don't know if I'll put some flowers in here. I might put another herb in here, but we'll see. And then this here I need to fix. Here is my beautiful rose that I got from my friend Joy's house. It's doing really nicely, and I'm so glad to see all that growth. I'll have to move this here out of the way, too. But yeah, I'm excited about that. You know, I, I wondered if it was ever really going to grow, but look at it all now. I'm going to have a lot of roses from there, and I call it my, my rose of joy. All right, guys. So I need to get going. Look at chives. They are chives. I kept telling my sister, I think they're onions. Well, they are onions. They're chives. <laughs> This here is just a bunch of mess that I've been pulling up. So here I have plants. Let me put my bird down. I have, let's see, I gotta water these poor things. Goliath tomatoes. I've never done those before, so it'd be interesting. Uh, and these two are both beef steaks. So these two will go over here. The Goliath I will probably put over here, but I do need um, cherry tomatoes. Oh, what were the name? Rapunzel. Rapunzel cherry tomatoes. They're beautiful. I love them. They grow wonderfully and they look beautiful. If you have not done Rapunzel uh, cherry tomatoes, definitely, definitely get them. All right. And I will find out the name of that flower too. And I, I think I might put some more flowers in there. I was thinking about doing herbs, but probably more flowers. Herbs in there. Herbs in there. All right, guys. Keep going. Spring is finally here. Here's Josh. Hey, Josh. Hi. There's Wayward. Where's Quincy? Where's the baby? I wanted to try to show you something, too. I'm holding my camera kind of awkwardly, so it's going to be kind of difficult to show you this, but... Uh, when I plant my flowers, and excuse all the weeds, this is not a weed, that's strawberries, but when I plant my flowers, what I do, I, it's been tilled, so it's a little easier to dig, but I dig the hole, and these are, it says bubblegum, these are petunias, aren't they pretty? And then I have purple ones that I'll be putting in here as well, but I just, I rip apart this um, root bulb, and that lets the roots grow, and then I put it in there. That just helps the, the roots to spread out. You're not hurting them at all. Okay, guys, today is May 26th. It's Sunday, just before Memorial Day. I wanted to bring you the last bit of this garden update. 
I have planted cucumbers, I have some peppers here, and then I have a tomato. Let's make sure I'm pointing in the right direction here. Right there. That's a tomato. I think. <laughs> Cucumber, pepper, tomato. Right here. Pepper, pepper. Those are not hot peppers, they're sweet peppers, and each one of them are a different color. I like the red, the yellow, the orange. I think those add a lot to my cooking, so I, I like those. I've planted, it has rained a ton this last couple of weeks. I've planted my flowers, they're all in. I have marigolds, yellow and orange. I have petunias. Those are kind of like a pink, reddish. I have white. And do I have a blue? I wanted to make my garden red, white, and blue this year. I could not find enough blue flowers. These here are not blue. They're purple. It's a deep purple. When I was watching this on, on the computer, they really do look blue. But they are purple. Sun's getting ready to set. Aren't those beautiful? I have cut down a lot of these because they're they're dying. These flowers here have their season and then they're done. These here all bloomed and they looked wonderful, but now it's it's <laughs> they're done. I cut here within here. I cut down, I don't know if you can see right there, I cut that. I will be uh, cutting the rest of these down once they're, they're gone. I'll cut the rest of them down and I'm going to take out a bunch of these. Here is a rose, a dwarf rose, and you can see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, there are some little buds there. Over here, my rose bush is blooming. And <laughs> tis the season. I don't know if you can hear the weed either. I want to get rid of some of these irises because I don't want them to overload my my rose bush. I want that rose bush to, to pop. I want everybody to see that rose bush. And this here actually goes all year long. These here, irises do not. So this here is the garden what it looks like right now. I've done some weeding. I did pick up some of my asparagus. <laughs> Boy, that weed eater is loud. <laughs> and here, right here is a rose that I was given. It's yellow, so I'm excited that that is actually growing. I'll be taking the weeds out. The mailbox area. Okay. While the trimmer's off, I have the Goliath tomato here. This here is dill. I'm going to probably take that out of there. I don't think that's going to work. Um, like I said, it's been raining a lot, and there's a lot of water in there. It needs more holes at the bottom or something but I'm going to probably take that dill out. My chives are doing awesome. They will continue to flourish and do wonderful. This here bed is all flowers. I chose not to put any herbs in there. I have is that uh, oregano. Let me quickly look at this. Yeah, Italian oregano. And my, my herbs do really well in these beds, so I don't have a problem with that. I have a tomato plant here. That's a beef steak, I believe. These two are both beef steaks, so I'll come back to that one. Both beef steaks. Here is my rose of joy. I'm going to go through here and get rid of all the weeds, but look. Right there. Dill. Volunteer dill. Free. This here is uh, thyme. 
I love thyme, oregano, and dill. I have cilantro and basil. This is the basil. This here is the cilantro. It's seeding. I'm not happy about that. So I'm going to have to go through and clip that and get rid of it. I want this to continually grow throughout the season. I don't know why it's bolting. This here is dill that I put in here, and I do have more dill that I need to plant. And I did put a few flowers in here. One, two, three, I think I put four in here. It has rained so much. This here is, is full, and unfortunately, you know what? The cats get in here, and they dig it up, and these here were dug up. This here was almost dug up, so I'm, I'm going to have to figure out something with that. But let's look at this. Oh, that's right, the Rapunzel. I was able to buy one Rapunzel tomato. These are really good, sweet cherry tomatoes, and Rod and I love them, and they look so pretty. If you can see the card, they really do grow that way. They just, all the tomatoes just fall over, and they're so pretty. They have, uh, the place that I get these from, they're on order. So tomorrow, or excuse me, Tuesday, I will buy three or four more. So this is the last of the garden update. I will be putting right here all of those Rapunzels. Okay, they're going to be working in the yard next door again. There's another dill. So plant what you eat. Plant what you like. Uh, I, I love the dill. I love oregano and thyme. I love basil. That's why I have it here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Give me a like, a comment, and subscribe.